We're going to be talking about ice wave patches now and how you can best use them to help relieve the pain of others. Now, one of the things that's important when you're working with someone that's suffering with pain is to make sure you ask them the right question. So we're going to do a walkthrough of this now so you have a good idea of what questions to ask and why. So first, you meet someone that's suffering with pain. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm okay, but I have some pain. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Whereabouts is your pain? My pain is in my lower back. And how long have you been suffering with this pain? I've had this pain for a few months now. A few months, okay. And are you in pain right now? Yes, I am. Okay, so please go ahead and point to where your pain is. My pain is in my lower back right here. Okay, now what we're going to do is apply a tan patch right at the location of the pain. And if you'll notice, um, we asked a few questions to clarify this. So first we wanted to know where the pain was. Is she in pain now? Because we don't want to apply the patches. If someone's not in pain, we're not going to know if it worked or not. Um, we also wanted to find out was this a pain that was more recent or has it been going on longer? Because that will tend to affect how we're going to apply the patches. Uh, next, it's very important that you have the person point to where the pain is so you get the point exactly correct. Now, this is going to be the clock method that we're going to use and you apply the tan patch directly on top of the pain and you start with the white patch above it. Now, the exact distance between the two is not important. If it's three inches or six inches, that's okay. The important thing is that it's about that distance away. Uh, now, after you apply the patches, you don't need to wait very long, maybe just a few seconds, and then you go back and you ask the person, has there been any change in the level of pain? So now, Maddie, let's say that zero is no pain and 10 is the level of pain that you started with, has there been any change? Yes, my pain has dropped to about a seven. Okay, fantastic. So we've had a 30% reduction in the level of pain, but I'm not satisfied with that yet. I'd like to get better pain relief. So let's go ahead and move the patches to the next location. And it's called the clock method or the cross method because we're simply going to be moving that white patch around the area of pain and we're going to move the white patch around the tan patch. So think of the tan patch as being the center of the clock and now the white patch is at the 3 o'clock position. We started at the 12 and now it's at 3 o'clock. So now again we don't have to wait very long and now Maddie, zero is no pain. We started at a 10 your pain came down to a seven. Has there been any change? Yes, my pain is now only at a four. Okay, fantastic. We're really doing great. The pain level is at a four. I'm still not satisfied though. I think we can do a little bit better. So let's move the patches one more time. And now we're gonna go to the six o'clock position. And that's putting the white patch just below the tan one. And now we can go back again and ask. So. Zero is no pain, we started at a 10, we got down to a seven, then to a four. Has there been any change? Yes, my pain is completely gone. I'm at a zero now. Okay, fantastic. So now when the pain is at a zero, we can stop. And if you'll notice, what we did was we left uh, only half the adhesive being used. That's so we can more easily move the patches around. So what we would do at this point is remove the backing from both the tan and the white patch and then affix them to those locations. You're also going to notice that we are applying patches to the top of the clothing and this is perfectly fine. The patches will reflect infrared light and infrared light travels easily through clothing so in this example you can easily apply the patches to the top of the clothing and expect to get pain relief but of course if you're using ice wave by yourself apply the patches directly to the skin unless of course you're allergic to the adhesive and then you would apply it on top of the clothing. But that's a very simple and easy way to use 
the ice wave patches for pain relief using the clock method.